We had local law enforcement from Uvalde Police Department, one of the school police officers, as well as state troopers that arrived on scene. They were the initial officers on scene. They heard the gunfire. Um, they were met with gunfire as they encountered this gunman who was able to shoot two police officers. Um, Non-life-threatening injuries, they, they are stable, they are out of the hospital, but at that point they were at a disadvantage because the gunman was able to make entry into a classroom, barricaded himself inside that classroom, and then that's when just he just started shooting children and the teachers that we talked about, two teachers that were killed inside that classroom. It's a small classroom yeah. and you can have anywhere from 25 to 30, 30 students yeah. in there, plus there was two teachers in there, right? So. Uh, don't have the exact number of how many students were in that classroom, uh, but it could vary, right? As I mentioned right now, from 25 to 30, it could be more, uh, but we do know that there was a, it was a classroom setting, a typical classroom setting where you have mass uh, groups of children inside that classroom all together were nowhere to go. There's a doorway that leads to a main hallway, which leads to other classrooms. At that point, those initial officers weren't able to make entry because they were at a point of disadvantage with a shooter. Uh, so they went around the school, breaking windows, rescuing children and teachers from those windows, bringing them out through those windows. Um, they were able to set a perimeter until that tactical team arrived and they were able to make entry into that classroom. There was not, enough, there was not sufficient manpower at that time. And their, main, their primary focus was to preserve any further loss of life. At that point, uh, we had a specialized tactical team arrive uh, comprised of federal officers, local police officers as well. They made forcible entry into that classroom. One of those officers was met with gunfire. He was shot. Um, non-life-threatening injury, and at that point they were able to shoot and kill uh, the shooter.